G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for part two of Let's Create a System, where Max and I talk through and sort of flesh out the, the last part of the system that we created. So hope you enjoy it, and if you like this sort of stuff, you can suggest some crazy ideas to create systems around uh, for us to uh, discuss it. Anyway, hope you enjoy it. All right, we're back. And the important thing is that Max has all the gin and tonic, so... Yeah. All right, so we've got our basic openings... Uh, we've penciled in our responses to pretty much everything, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, we have uh, to, yeah. Except for a spade, which we were just going to say... Oh, yeah, there's the one we have to work on. Two no trumps. Let's just pencil in a structure. My general preferred structure over a no trump. Two clubs, simple stamen. Two diamonds, two hearts, transfer. Two spades, range probe. Three clubs, puppet stamen. Yeah. Uh, two no transfer to diamonds. Three diamonds, both miners, something. Yep. And three hearts and three spades, splinters. Yep, that's that's all about right. And over the three clubs, puppet stamen, we bid... Three diamonds, no five. And then you bid the one you don't have. Yeah. So it's an at most one four card. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So yeah. So I'll just pencil that in. Mm. And then... Uh, I'm just doing this like this to annoy him because it's not consistent. The formatting. <laughs> uh. So after a transfer to a minor or a range probe, we play a new suit of shortage, but over a transfer to a major, we play a new suit of natural? Yep. Oops. And we play Smolin? Yep. Next to Simple Stamen, can you write Smolin as well? <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to be reading these <laughs> later on. I'm going to... I'll be wondering, do we play small and don't we play small and like... Alright, uh, this was 5-5 five, five minus game force, mm -hmm. 3 hearts, 3-1, uh, 3-1... Oh, you see, you're doing the same thing that I did. Yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. We've got this like, got little me? midget one. Uh, Do you want me to start? No, 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 I'm just getting used to it. Oh, good. I just got used to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at me go. See, like, we'll smash through, like, our one-no trump system here. That's just because we're not re... re... Reinventing re the wheel. wheel. <laughs> that, that's it, yeah. <laughs> But like it's just like a common thing that like um any time that if Pete and I were just to sit down and have a random game, um like uh, could just be about substituting or doing whatever, um this would come up and I would just assume this is what we play just because um every time we we talk about bridge system or anything we just this is just like the default system that we play. It might not be optimal. In fact, I know that there are better things that you can do. Um, that whether you're going to put the effort into agreeing those and learning those is just maybe it's not worth it. You're better off just learning about maybe competitive bidding or something, or discussing that, or maybe some carding. Because um, yeah. I think carding is definitely an issue for most partnerships, especially when we play. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> In the review video, we'll be like, yeah, we just didn't know what our carding meant. <laughs> I thought it was this. I might, was I might send you some carding notes as well. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we're just simple carding. It's all about the. Uh, so the, the classic example is that I agreed to play with um, Dave Wilshire, who's my regular partner now. And um, the first time we ever played together, I think we sent each other two pages of system notes. And um, then in addition to that, we, we sent each other two pages of carding notes as well. So in two pages, two A4 pages, we had all of our system agreements. Um, and you can see here that Pete and I, we're taking a bit of space, but you know, we're well, probably like five or six pages so far, just about system. So Dave and I, were just, we just conceded the fact that it was just gonna, we're just gonna play a simple system, but we're gonna get our carding right. Um, so most, most partnerships, I reckon you could write, like it's a scratch partnership, you could write their carding agreements down in maybe a paragraph. Um, that was where we put all our effort in, and like it, it paid off. Like we didn't, we had like maybe one carding error the entire time. Yeah, but you're bidding. <laughs> <laughs> bidding. But, like half, the, half of yeah. it was like yeah. In the bidding, we just did something reasonable, and like even if we discussed it all, like in the bidding, we might not have known what we've done. But what we didn't ever happen was we didn't, we never had like 13 outs because we cashed the wrong ace or something like that, yeah. or we, something, something strange. Um, but yeah. All right. So now to a spade, which is two or three spades. Usually a weak no trump. Not six hearts. No, you may have six not, hearts. Not normally six hearts. Yeah. yeah. Um, partner's not going to play you for six hearts, but you may have it. 
Yeah. So um, like, not not six good hearts at least. What were your off thoughts? I was thinking one no trump semi forcing like well like partners are weak no trump they just pass it. Mm. Uh, and then that allows them to kind of pay out. Yep. Um, three suit level invitational two level game force. Uh, except we got some awkwardness with wanting to show hearts in some of the bids, so I was thinking maybe a two two clubs is some sort of multi like multi arena. Yeah, like I, I think that's might be best for constructive bidding. But I was actually thinking of destructive bidding. Yeah. Um, where maybe I wasn't sure whether maybe two clubs, two diamonds, and two hearts, and two spades are all just natural partner. This is good. Um, leave me alone, sort of like a bad invite kind of hand at best and one no trump is sort of like catch and two no trumps is like a game force or something um or maybe that one no trump becomes a transfer to clubs two clubs becomes a transfer to diamonds two diamonds is, and you play transfers all the way up and then you transfer and then you can bid again if you so wish um that was a thought um part of what it'll do is it'll just get us to a sensible contract quite quickly so anytime like imagine we weren't playing the transfer version Anytime you've got a six card suit, you just bid it straight up, and partners looks at the hand and goes, "Cool, like it's expectedly gone." Opening bid week two, good enough. Yeah. Um, and you're in a really good position to penalise the opponents here because um, if the opponents bid spades, you know the partner's got two or three, and you as the weak hand are making the penalty doubles. Quite obvious. Um, obviously, partner wouldn't be making penalty doubles because you could just have like jack to six and out. Um, yeah. But... So I do like lots of bids that are just sort of natural to play. Um... I'm feeling like we can give up two clubs as that, though. Okay, so you want to play two clubs as not that, but you're having two diamonds, two hearts, and two spades as this is a good contract? Yeah, natural non-forcing. Okay, sort of. I think it, maybe the maybe the vol doesn't even need to set the contacts so much, but like imagine like partner opens a spade and you've just got like jack, ten, nine to six in a suit that's not mm. clubs because we're not playing that one. Um, you'd sort of just want to bid two of whatever that suit is straight up. Yeah. But at the same time, you've got like you know an eight count with like a six six card suit. So you'd probably want to do the same thing, and um, yeah. So uh, I'll pencil stuff in, but we can like just scrap it straight away. But what about three level as Nat? So in two no trumps, I like. Ooh, Pete, come on, buddy, in the game. <laughs> um, <laughs> so three clubs as uh, natural invite. Uh, same for uh, diamonds and hearts. Yeah, sure, natural invite. Um, six card suits? Yeah, absolutely. Once again, they should be the same principle, where they're natural invitational and partner having a maximum amount of fit for you. Yeah. To play, or like preemptive. Preemptive, probably yeah. a better, better word, better description. Five card spade suit? Um, partner's got two or three. Ah, uh, um, six card spade suit? Yeah. yeah, probably six. Once again, both say like favourable, five might be good enough, you're just really pushing it up. So. Um, similar to the other one where it's like seven to eleven. Yeah, so maybe this actually should be the constructive one with five spades though, maybe six. Um, yeah, five plus spades. Yeah. Partner could have, like, bear in mind if partner's got a two card spade suit, they, like, if they're 14, 15, they might act again. But if they're anything less than that, they should probably just be passing. Yeah. So, like, it'll be a playable spot, so. Yeah. We're happy. We yeah. found a playable spot. Yeah. And it's really, it's pushing, like, you don't actually, you might not have a spade fit here. So imagine you've only got a five card spade suit, you make your preemptive bid. I'd be making aggressive penalty doubles here as well at the three level when the opponent's bit over you. They're trying to make nine tricks. Mm -hmm. like I would be quite happy, like, as both players, partners just showed 7 to 11, um, so I'd be quite happy making aggressive penalty doubles um, over the 3 level. And not that I think partners should be ripping your penalty doubles, but partners should know that you're making an aggressive penalty double, um, and that you will do that, because you, you'll punish the opponents quite frequently, I feel, when they do bid. Yeah. Um, Alright, so I'm happy with this overall... Yeah. Um, I don't know why I've got natural next to two neutral. I don't want that. Um, this overall structure. But there's a lot of hand types that go into one spade. 
Yeah, like a lot. <laughs> so, are maybe two clubs just ask is quite reasonable. Um, so, I think two clubs can be like. So, one no trump, you can just bid on your 0 to 12. Partner will round out if they're unbalanced, right? Yeah, so partner's balanced. They'll be passing that all the time, I would have thought. Yeah. Um, bear in mind that you won't have a weekend with four or five spades because you might just choose to draw a diagonal line. Yeah. Um, so I feel like weak no trump should just be passing the one spade bid, so that's really partner. Do you have a weak no trump? Yeah, I do. Yeah. All other bids over the top of the one no trump would be canapé, so partner yeah. I've got at least five in blah. I've got three to f two or three spades, and I've got another suit somewhere else as well, in case you're wondering. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's really awkward for partner if they've got, uh, like, if you want to try and find a heart fit. I, I find, like, if we want to constructively find a heart fit. This is going to be the bad hand, yeah. So. So you reckon maybe, you reckon two hearts is non-forcing or forcing? Yeah. Um... The problem with the, like, the natural invitational three half bid is it's a very infrequent bid. Like, you need to be dealt six of them for a start, and you also need to be in the invitational range. Like, it's, they're not going to come up very often. What do you want it to be? It's like, strong jump? No, I don't, think, I don't think that makes sense either. I feel like you could maybe just ram all the strong hands into something and then sort that out later. Um, yeah, so basically the hands that I'm worried about are when we've got a heart fit and then we want a bid game once we find it. Um, which... I'm worried about slam hands. Yeah. <laughs> Constructive hands <laughs> over a spade are going to be an issue. Uh, so... I feel like maybe we use two clubs and two no trumps as both game forcing, and two hearts and two diamonds as partner good enough. How often do we need to bid our weak hands? Like, if we're, if we're focused on play, finding a playable spot, usually when we bid a no trump, we've found a playable spot. Not necessarily. I want to find a makeable playable contract. I, I, <laughs> a makeable <laughs> play. I feel like two hearts and two diamonds should be five card suits partner. This is probably five or six. This is where I'd like to play. Um, assuming partner's got a weak no trump. What about an idea of we respond as if it is a weak, a weak no trump? Mm. Two clubs, stamen, two diamonds, hearts, two hearts, spades. Just pretend it's a weak no trump, and partner can break. But do they want to break? Like, let's say they've got two cards in the suit you transferred to. Maybe, maybe they just want to accept and play in the five-two fit. Yeah, they'll usually do that. But like, if they if they want to show us, they have a six-card diamond suit or something. No, I don't. They could bid mm. three diamonds over our transfer or something. I reckon that's gonna be a problem. When partner's got like a stiff diamond and six hearts, we've just gone past two flying past two hearts for no reason. Not for no reason, but <laughs> sort of. But I reckon that could be a reasonable structure that would allow you to untangle it and would know what our bids mean. I don't like two clubs being stamen. I prefer two clubs, diamonds, two diamonds, hearts, and we just play the transfer thing, but we give up on. So what, like. If we played the same strike, like if we assumed it was a weak no trump and did the same. So no trump's just to play then? Yeah, no trump's just to play. Well, but like, semi forcing, if you're unbalanced, bid what you're going to bid. Mm. Like, normal stuff. Yeah. If you do use stamen transfers, things like that, we've got all our construction options. I don't feel like stamen's a productive use of space. I really, like, that would be one thing I'd really not want to do. I mean, it's kind of four spades for a start. So you're really asking, do you have four hearts, which is a bit. Yeah, so all right. So we don't. You could just have it as transfer, transfer, transfer. Assuming that it's a weak no trump. Yeah, so I don't mind two clubs, two diamonds, and two hearts, all being transfers. Not two hearts. Oh, okay. So two clubs and two diamonds both being transfers, and two hearts being maybe a four card heart suit and a strong hand, or at least invitational. Four or five hearts invitational. Yeah. That could well, be you would go through the transfer, unless the transfer's weak or game forcing. What would us? I like this two spades though. The seven to eleven five. Yeah, spades. yeah I want to keep that. I want like because that's a playable spot. I want to get there straight away. Yeah. Okay. I also like two. So can we put two clubs and two diamonds down as transfers?
maybe two hearts are just transfer to clubs. Yeah, that would be more like six plus clubs though, I think. Mm, I'm not sure. Like, if you're weak, it would be. Like if you're... Yeah, if you're strong, it wouldn't be. Okay, okay, put it five plus. We could just pretend that we don't, we never get dealt hands with clubs. <laughs> <laughs> I've made that system before. It didn't go well. Most of the time, yeah, that's fine. But then, oh wow. Um. Yeah. All right. And what would two no trumps be? Um. Balanced game force. Yeah, balanced game force. I don't mind that. Um, we don't have these. We don't have any invitational <laughs> lands. <here. Yeah. laughs> no, but like I know, I know those ones are invitational, but those are six cards. So we don't have anything for like a five, four, three, one invite. Well, you just start with transferring, and then mm, yeah, see what partner does. Sure. You can play transfer, and new suit is just forcing for one round. No, I reckon we just treat it like a wait no trump partner accepts, and then you get a new suit or two no trumps natural invitational. Oh, yeah, sure. So, and if partner does have some freak distributional hand, they break. They yeah, partner's got a freak distribution. They 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 should break to their six card suit. Yeah. Um. Now this might work badly, but at the end of the oh, day. Sorry. Oh yeah. Jeez. Whoa, <laughs> that would have been awkward. <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> That is the consistency of the system. <laughs> the Trumps is at the play bit all the time. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, general structure: if you have the weak no trump, you just accept the transfer. If you've you got, got a freak distributional, you you bet it. If you've got right. a freak distributional, but you've got two cards or three cards, or whatever partner transfers to, you should also probably accept. Yeah, but if you want to tell partner, like I'm happy playing here, like if you're happy playing opposite a singleton. You're going to show you soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, all right. I feel like the one spade bit, the most frequent hand is going to be the weak no trump, and we're catering for that. Yeah. Um, so, and we've got lots of other bids to show distributional hands. So if you have got a distributional hand, it's not going to be a free distributional hand. So you don't have six hearts. You don't have a six card minor. You could have a six card minor, but then you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have like a six four. Yeah. Um, and they're weak, no trumps anyway, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. I think I'm happy. Yeah, I could be. I could be happy. <laughs> you could be happy. Do you know what's going to make me a little happier? <laughs> Consistency. <laughs> Formatting. Formatting. Yeah. I'll put a little uh, star in here just for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, quick recap. Our basic opening bids for playing strong, 15 plus, diamond, 5 plus spades, 4 plus spades for 1 heart, 2 or 3 for 1 spade, usually a weak no trump. Mm -hmm. uh, almost a strong no trump opening. Uh, what are you game force on opposite the 14, 16? Um, so it's just, it should be a, about a point, I think it should be a bit over a point heavier than what you'd game force over over a strong no trump. So good 9 counts to. 10 counts will game force. Yeah. Um, yeah. Terrible 10 counts invite? Yeah. I think that's fine. Um, once again, like, use some judgment, you got some pips, obviously. It's fine. Um, so yeah. Especially when you're playing the 10 to 14 openings as well. Like, um, you shouldn't... Like, we've got 14 to 16, but, like, you should be looking for an, a pretty special 13 to be, um, to be opening. <laughs> <laughs> Can we call that like I'd prefer allergic to match points. Like at least come on. No, nah, no. Nah. Uh, we could make a system way worse for match points than this. SMF. <laughs> SMF. System mix system face. You don't want to abbreviate it. You want everyone to. SM SMMF. <laughs> no. no. All right. So we've got our basic structure over one club, which is diamond negative transfers, then balance point ranges, then triple four ones. Um, one diamond opening. This is pretty standard. This is like two over one style. 
Um, yeah. Considering we've shown spades a spit particularly. Um, so would we always bid one heart when we've got hearts? Um, I think this could be a thing where, like, if I'm playing standard, if I've got six to nine or ten to twelve points, I tend not to show my major. I think it could be the same here. So you'd show your four card heart suit if you were game four suit. That's as opener. Like rebidding. The responder would want to show their four card heart suit, right? Oh, yeah. No, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. if they've got, say, like, four hearts. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Sorry, I misunderstood the question. Sure. Yeah, if you're game forcing, you'd probably just bid your five card game force. Do we so really need two hearts to be a five card game force, or do we just bid one heart? Um, do you have a better use for two hearts? Um, no. <laughs> yeah. So how about we just leave it as a natural game force then? Okay. But yeah, we we can look at changing that up. But I feel like one heart is usually not game forcing, but. Uh, I said one heart should be less than a game for it. Okay. Unless it's just exactly four cards. So yeah, sure. Okay. Like you might go diamond a heart and then just bid three no or something. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Sure. Spade to play. This is all very, very natural. Um, after our two club, two over one uh, response is all extremely natural. Yeah. So once it's like you should be, obviously you'd be bidding canopy style. And you'd be bidding no trumps with Dallas Town. Uh, one thing that we should possibly look at is that when we open a heart or a diamond, we're always playing spades by the wrong side. Yeah. 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 No <laughs> um, um, are we phased? Maybe, like, if it goes a heart for spades or a diamond for spades, neither one of those should be a big issue. Yeah. Because you've made a preemptive action as in a precision system, your hand is maybe even less known rather than dummy's hand. Dummy's hand's yeah. known to have like a certain number of spades and ten to say fifteen or fourteen points. Um so those I'm really not concerned about. Um the two spade like same thing with the raising to two spades, I'm not concerned about that. It's when we say by the way, we find our spade bit slowly and then we decide to play in spades that I'd be more concerned. Yeah, I'm not worried. Okay. I'm glad we talked about that. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, like, there will definitely be times we're wrong side, but uh, I guess the opening hand's more well defined. Yeah. In nearly every situation. Yeah, that's true. Unless they open a strong club. Yeah, well, in which case we're fine anyway. We've, we've sorted that out. So. Um, so over one spade, basically treating it as a weak no trump. Yeah. But with like transfers, two hearts. I think we would want to. That's the uh, unusual one. Yeah, highlight that. That seems good. Um, if you got, what do you do with a four-card heart suit and an unbalanced hand? <laughs> just as a thought. Well, you start by transferring to your longest. Right. Okay. So you might decide to transfer to diamonds with like a four-card diamond suit, just to, and then bid hearts afterwards to set up the game force. Yeah. Okay, that's a workaround. So if I like four-four, triple four ones, I guess you'd say. Um, you might choose just to start with a transfer to diamonds partner, except you bid two hearts, saying I've got a... If you're game force, you might just show that as a balanced game force. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, that could work as well. Okay, so... Yeah, so none of these bids should be thought of as, like, rigid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one no trump, that's fine. Two clubs. Uh, our sort of three-suited hand short spade. Mm -hmm. Mainly to play, two spades ask. What sort of ask are we looking at here? Okay, we're going to have some system to... So the things you want to know is you're going to want to know if partner's maximum or minimum. Um, we don't need to know about the heart length. You want, more want to know about the general shape. So if you just want to know if partner's like... I feel like the heart length is more for distinguishing between three, four, and five hearts. And they can go through the three club heart ask. Yeah, so those ones. So really what you're trying to do is you're trying to find out um, generic shape. So I feel like you could... I think two no minimum. Two no minimum seems good. And then... Over the top of that, new suits non-forcing. Yep. Um, oh, you sort of want to be able to ask, though, as well, no partner. Really, just tell me what you've got. But you don't have a hard ask. So you can bid three hearts. Partner, I've got four of these, I guess. No, no if, if, you're, if you wanted to play in hearts, you'd start with three clubs. So yeah. when you bid... 
two spades. You know, that's only if you're getting. What if you're invitational though? I'm thinking of invitational hand with hearts. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. This ask is going to be pretty <laughs> overloaded. Here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, hmm. Let's just assume you're not invitational with hearts. If you bid like two hearts to play, and you you happen to hit partner with five hearts, they can raise to three hearts. Yeah. Okay, so I reckon the hands with five hearts we just have to write off as maybe a bit of a loss. Yeah. Because um, those hands just never come up. They're going to be infrequent, yeah? <laughs> so I feel like the, the natural ask is the two no trumps step minimum. You know what we could have? We could have step maximum, other bids natural minimum. Sure. Okay. That, that's, that's the solution. Uh, um, so over the ask. So I reckon... This is actually, this will be consistent with the way we play our, over our one club opening, where step is always maximum as well. Um, and so it's created a game force now. Two no trump max, three clubs. Three, right, three X. Three X. Uh, nat, min, five. Uh, just Except three clubs. Yeah, and no, I just reckon natural. And I reckon three spades. So what are your shapes? I reckon we lump the five, four, three ones with four, five in the minors with the five. Oh, okay. So do we want to differentiate the number of spades we've got? Because that's a there's, that's a serious power differential. The four, four, five, naught, and the zero, three, three, five. Those ones are powerful. Uh, so I think three spades is void. Okay. And then Bond just has to figure it out from there. Yeah. Like it how I've gone from semicolons to commas to Yeah, like, yeah. yeah it's the right page. Some people just want to do the world then. Yeah. Um and then yeah, the elders and natural. So you just bid up the line. What are you with triple four ones? I reckon triple four ones bid three hearts. I reckon three no. Okay, three no. Once again these are minimums. Yeah. And I understand my partner might have an invite hand, but... Yeah. Whatever. You, if you finish a football one, though, your partner now knows that, that they're going to go off in their contract. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Partner, I have the uh, worst hand for you. Ooh. All right. So if you've been at the three level, you're showing a five-card suit. Yep. If you've been three spades, you've got a void. Mm-hmm. And if you bid, uh... you haven't used the hard ask as well, so I'm not that concerned about that. Yeah. yeah. If you had a choice, you could have used the hard ask. You chose not to use the hard ask. Yeah. So three spades. I have a void spade. And yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, over the top of the maximum, three clubs. I think just asks, and then bids are the same. Over what, sorry? Two no trumps max? Yeah, step asks. Step asks. So I reckon that, that should be a consistent feature about our system. Whenever we're making asks, step asks. And then... So three no trumps would be, be triple four ones, three spades is a void, um, and the others are five card suits. Uh, and three no trumps might have a five card pop suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Might hesitate for a long time with that one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense, yeah. yeah. So you don't go past three no trumps as the rule, I guess. Yeah. Actually, if you're maximum and partner's still asking, maybe you can go past three no trumps. Uh, they could be wondering about... Number of hearts. The, well, yeah, all kinds of oh, things. Yeah. Okay, sure. So we just don't go past three no trumps. Yeah, no, our point. general rule. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be able to play in three no trumps. Okay. <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, over two diamonds, this was our... Uh, that's the... Four or five hearts, six plus minor. Two spades, asks, invite plus. So... I feel like we want to be able to sort out hearts before strength. Knowing whether partner's got hearts, I feel like, is more important. So I feel like two no trumps, I have hearts. Three clubs and three diamonds, I don't have hearts, but I've got six of this. Yeah, I think we discussed this one. Two no trumps is uh, five hearts. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, three um, is six. Yeah. 
cards. Yeah. Six seven. Over this two no trumps, five hearts, I reckon you're playing parcel correct bids, aren't we? Yeah, so three clubs is parcel correct, three diamonds is parcel correct. Yeah. Three or four hearts, whatever. Um, and why does it say three M six M? Oh three M equals six M. Yeah, I'll give you a dash. Do you give me <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Not in the slightest. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, two hearts. This is six card heart suit. Uh, this ask is just sort of. Um, once again, two trumps max. Because I think that's consistent. The <laughs> semi consistent. Semi consistent. <laughs> the other one above is the exception to the rule. Yeah. You, you always need an exception. And I reckon that starts a game force. So once you've said max. Yeah. yeah. And then apart from that natural bidding. Do we want to bid our singletons? No. Are they natural? Uh -oh. um, bid our singletons? No. Uh, just bid naturally. Okay. Because you could have like a 6 4, 6 5. You probably want to be able to show. Yeah, okay. Um, and then over the max, obviously, three clubs ask, so you, you continue to bid naturally. Yeah. Uh, two spades. This was uh, all kinds of five fives and six fours and any any other garbage. Yeah. So, hmm. Do we want to be able to show our hearts straight away? So, like, bidding th I was thinking bidding three clubs should be clubs and a higher, either six four or five five. <laughs> Um, but I feel like if you've got, I feel like when you've got clubs, it's going to be more unfortunate because you don't get to show your two suits. Um, but like if you've got a six four with six diamonds and four clubs, I think you just have to write that up as clubs and diamonds. I don't think mm -hmm. you can preferentiate your diamonds, or maybe you should have shown part of how many spades you've got. <laughs> If you've got two of them, sort of thing. Like you had two spades yeah. and six, six clubs and four diamonds, you should maybe show partner two spades first. Yeah. Um. Alright, what else? So, two note asks one way we, we're, we're not differentiating min or max in this. No, I no. think, yeah, no, two no trumps is, mind you, we've got parcel correct bids, so two no trumps should be at least sort of like invitational. Yeah, 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 it's invitational. So I think if you've got hearts, maybe you should be bidding your hearts. Um, so bidding hearts should be clubs and hearts, bidding diamonds should be diamonds and hearts, because those, those are obvious, and then bidding three clubs is ambiguous as 6-4 or 5-5. Five, five. Uh, so if you bid three clubs... That's both minors. Yeah. Three clubs is both minors. Three diamonds is diamonds and hearts. Three hearts is hearts and clubs. Yeah, and when you bid both minors, it's ambiguous as whether you're 5-5 five, five or... But we could have three spades as I've got a 6-4. But now we're getting, uh, we're getting high in the auction. I Yeah, I want to be able to ask and bail. You want to ask and bail, so... Um, so we're only responding, well, what about uh, three spades as max six four minors and three no as max five five minors? Okay. That is really hard to remember. Let's not do that. Okay. <laughs> um, three clubs, both. Minus. Minus. Three diamonds. Hearts and diamonds. Hearts. Let's get a end sign in. And three hearts is. Hearts and clubs. Hearts and clubs. Just a thought. Seeing as though partner can never do anything aggressive over the top of this 2 no trump bid. Do we just want to make three of a minor natural one forcing? Partner, this is the three X. This is this is where I want to play. I don't care what you've got. Like if you happen to have my suit as well, maybe you give me a raise. But like to play. 
Uh, sorry, no password, correct? And, that... and use hash with two no drops. What about three hearts? Is that also to play? Yep. Yep. That is to play. His partner can't, like, part, if you've been two no drops, partner has to do something. Are they to play or natural invite? To play. Just for consistency? You, if you, yeah. I, mean, I think you can ask as well. Like, oh, if you've got the invitation, you don't, don't pick up an invitation. <laughs> Either game force or... Yeah. Yeah. So, just three X's to play. And partner can't bid on over. If they have a fit, like, if one of their suits happens oh, yeah, to be yeah. your suit as well, like, <laughs> I'm okay with that. But, um, yeah, no, that, that should just be the end of the auction. Yeah, cool. I think we have a system. We've got our ask bids in. Very happy. We've only highlighted one thing yellow. We'll need to highlight more stuff, but... No, so far we're doing okay. Uh, so, just talking about continuations or competitive bidding. So, competitive bidding... So uh, one of the big things I want to talk about is I want, like a big generic rule whenever any one of our bids is doubled, because we've got a fair few artificial bids, we might say. Yeah. Um, redouble. Why do we double birds? Any <laughs> <laughs> bird doubled. Yeah. Um, so anytime a bid is doubled, I reckon redouble should say partner, go somewhere else. Redouble rescue. Redouble. It's not rescue, just yeah. I'm not happy where I currently am doubled. Yeah. Um, Hence rescue. Yeah. Um, Colin. <laughs> Double. Oh, uh, no, sorry, pass is to play. And next double penalties. So that's sort of like how we get them. Okay, so once again, you're limited as the 10 to 15 opener, so you can't get in on the penalty action as well, but that's how we can. And um, bids are, this is what I have. Natural non-forcing, yeah. Like any, like it goes a spade, double. Like that's two to three spades. Rescue. Redouble, partner, let's not play in yeah. one spade kind of thing. Pass. Um, I'm kind of happy in one spade where we are. Now, obviously, the context of what this guy's double shows matters. Mm -hmm. um, and then, if you just, like, you've got a weak hand, you can just bid straight away as well. So, yeah. Um, yeah. If you've got a strong hand, you can start with a redouble and then bid again, I guess. Um, but bids should just be natural on forcing and it'll get out. Yeah. Um, and balanced hands, you would probably readable for rescue, I guess, if you're not happy where you are. Okay. If you show your spade length and the opponent's overcall spades... Doubles penalties. Doubles always penalties? Yeah. Let's not do that. Yeah. Um, so... Doubles of spades... Pen F spade length no from P. I think anytime we open a two X bid, this guy overcalls doubles penalties, like we'll try ten to thirteen. Lots of penalty doubles. How about when a doubles take out? Um. <laughs> when they don't overcall spades? Yeah, no, just yeah, probably. Um, yeah. No, no takeout doubles. <laughs> Nineteen thirty style. <laughs> no, I'll just take out. Just when they're not penalties, they take out. So we, I reckon we agree when they're penalties. Okay, so they're penalties if we show spade length and they bid spades. Yeah. Doubles penalties. Although, do they need to be? Like, let's say you show zero or one spade, and or you show two to three spades. Mm -hmm. I reckon these, are, the, these, the, these are the frequency ones, yeah. yeah. And the opponents overcall spades. If you've got zero to one, you're, and it goes like two clubs, two spades, pass, pass, you can just reopen with the double, right? Could you? Maybe partners wants to play. I don't, I don't think you should be making that reopen automatically. I think you need something special to do that. You should have like a defensive orientated hand, and you are trying to, you're trying to go off, like you've got sharp cards. So you could just be walking into like the world of hurt. Like partner could be sitting there with like a weak hand and some spades. And you just, uh... So you, you don't want to have to reopen on those. 
No, not all the time. I reckon partners are all should be penalties because your hand is defined. It's defined as a three suitor, so partners double as penalties. Okay, what about when it's two or three spades? So this one, I think, is more awkward. So well, for a start, they have to have bid two spades. Yeah. So if it was, if they could bid one spade natural, I think double should be take out. But over a two spade bid, I don't think double for penalties is unreasonable. All right, so let's say it goes one spade, two spades. What are we going to do if we don't want to penalise them? They can, they can bid three spades. But what if you just want to compete? It's like two no scrambling? Um, yeah. So lots of two no trumps, two places to play. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Competitive auctions, two no trumps, default meaning is two. I don't think in a competitive auction, like as a direct action, we, we, we just won't play this. Yeah. Natural invitational, unless it's obvious. Yeah. Um, what else? Um, how about some standard competitive grouping agreements? Like, what if I a fence to a no trump opening? <laughs> to, yeah, uh, but like, you don't need that in your notes. You can just. Oh, yeah, sure. We'll talk about that later. Like, I, I don't want to fill this with just stuff that you can do whatever you actually want to do. This is just the core. Okay. Um, uh, so if they double in you of our ask bids, to, does anything change? No, I think systems on partner ask, to tell them the truth. Um, redouble says partner, maybe you have to play where they've just, if it's, yeah. Um, anything else? To be honest. I feel like that's enough. Yeah. Um, any spots where we have to get some continuations discussed that we haven't already? Um, I just think like the basic continuations, like fourth suit forcing. Um... All right. So let's just have a quick look over. So if we open a diamond, the partner bids a heart. You bid naturally. So. No trumps natural. That you'll pass if you balance bid if you and canopy still. Yeah. Even if you've sh wait, not if you've shown five spades. So over one over one diamond it's not canopy. Yeah, we both know this, yeah. yeah. One heart yeah, yeah, yeah. it is canopy. It is canopy. Um, so we accept the transfer if we don't have extreme shape. Um, one spade, two no bell game force. Uh, still canopy bids, except we might want to find a 4-4 four, four heart fit. Yeah, so if you think about it, if partner's about to make a canopy bid, so you've just shown a balanced game force, so you should be able to bid three hearts, your next opportunity is a four card heart suit. Because if partner's going to canopy, they're going to canopy into their minor. But what if partner's a weak no trump? Partners a weak no trump. That has hearts. That has heart. Oh yeah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> um, so maybe two hearts should be four. I, I think maybe uh, two spades should be four spades. Four hearts. Yeah, I think three spades is a four card heart suit. Yeah, three spades is a four card heart suit. Highlight that in yellow. <laughs> yeah. So um, the, the logic here is that we already know how many spades partners got, where it's two or three. And if partners are trying to balance game force, then you can't care if partners got two or three. Like, you would have maybe done something else. Um, mind you, you might have five spades and trying to find out if partners got <laughs> two or three spades. Can you put an equals or a dash or something in there? It's like, jeez. Star. Maybe. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> Um, yeah, and you might want to know about three, two or three card spades, right? You might want to, but I think that one's, like, yeah, that one's going to be hard to find. <laughs> we say we've got two or three spades, <laughs> and we can't find them. <laughs> um. Yeah, that could, that right, move on, move on. <laughs> um, how about move instead on. of having this move big four-card hearts, we just have it as... Uh, no. Three cards bad. No, I want the four card heart suit. I feel like that's more important. <laughs> more important than actually having a five card spade suit. Morning. Finding a four four fit is more important than finding a five three fit. If partner's balanced and you've got a five three fit playing three no is acceptable. 
with a four four quid is not 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 as acceptable. So the four card hard suit is is more important. <laughs> and you reckon we're gonna remember this? Yeah, I do. <laughs> It's highlighted. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if we've got game forcing spades, we have no bid here. Don't we? Don't we? Don't we? That's um. <laughs> so not only can we show a balanced invite, or oh, game force that still doesn't find out about the spades. No, so you show you balance, then you can bid four spades later, I guess. So this is <laughs> game force in brackets balanced. Um. I suppose that's what you have to do. What about two hearts be five plus spades? Oh, okay. Yeah, we could, okay. Game force. Yeah. Oh, no. And just... two no be balanced or clubs game force. No, how about two spades just five plus spades? And like you can't have zero to six because you pass with zero to six. So this is five plus spades, seven plus. Like high card points, like at least invitational. And then the next one becomes clubs. Okay, cool. Alright, and we can get rid of a yellow because of that. <laughs> there we go, this is fine. Yeah. And then if you got more than 7 to 11, like... Uh, I don't think we need a point range here, right? Um, I reckon 7 plus, like you should you should make that a bit more strength okay. than the others. Because if final was weak, they would just pass. Oh, maybe, maybe they wouldn't. No, get rid of it. Um... No, 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 I think it's fine, because you want partner to be able to kick okay. if they've got a hand that wanted to accept the invite. Yeah, sure. Or make an invite. Sure, sure, okay. Apparently my partner can super accept over all these as well. So. Yeah, but your partner won't super accept with precisely three card spades. Yeah, sure. Not knowing if you've got no points or if you've yeah, got... Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Cool. All right, moving along. Um, that's all good. One no trump, we yeah, don't need to worry about. Two clubs. What are we missing here? Two diamonds to play. So if one of it's two diamonds and it happens to be your three card suit, I reckon and you're like a one five or one four three four or something like that. I think you are entitled to actually convert this. Um, like you don't have to. Like if you've got three, you shouldn't maybe just be passing two diamonds. I think you can try to prove the part score. Like I know when I was playing precision, it was right. Like if when we were playing, when I was playing precision with a singleton diamonds, singleton or void in diamonds, and it being like a, um, a three four, a four three, one five, partner bid two hearts. You should actually convert that to two spades, saying choose between spades and clubs. Okay, so, can you convert two hearts to something at the three level? Um, maybe with a three card suit and like five five in the minors. Yeah, I, I would gladly consider that. Um, just because partner has playing you such a wide variety of hands, um, so I think that these are convertible as well. So that's to play, convertible. Yeah. Um, obviously two clubs. If we use past that, that's not going to be converted anyway. But yeah. you know, sure. Okay, so two diamonds, two hearts to play, two spades to ask, and which is invite plus, and we show our hearts first with two no, which mm -hmm. was stuck in yellow. Yeah, that's different to the rest. Uh, that would be a four card hard suit. Yeah. And this is I have a six card minor. Yeah. And four hearts. Yeah. Yep. Two hearts, two no max step, others natural. That seems very easy. What's more frequent actually? Do you think it's more frequent for us to have a maximum, or do you think it's more frequent for us to have a five card hard suit? This shows six plus hearts, right? No, the one above. Uh, I think it's much more likely that we've got a maximum than a five card hard suit, but. What's the chance of having a 6-5 in hearts and a minor? That's really low frequency. I feel like that should change. That should just be maximum like the rest. So you want this to be... Max, yeah. I reckon we're giving up. 6-5 six, in the... 6-5 six, hearts, 6 minor, I think we're just showing those as 4-4s. Four, and I think with 3 hearts is 5 hearts. I am actually... You know what I'm going to do? No, I reckon... You know how we've got that 2 spade bid? 5 hearts and 5 minor? I reckon with 5-5 five, five in hearts and a minor, we show that. You, with, if you've got a 6-5, you want to open... 2 spades, showing a 5-5. Five, five. 
This is strictly six four. This is strictly six four. All right, look at look at us go with changes to our basic openings. <laughs> that's that's got to be better, right? Like I'd much prefer the actual definition over the the fourth or fifth heart rather than the the fifth or mm. sixth minor. Yeah. Yeah. So you got that yellow. Two trumps max. Oh, look at this. Look at this getting rid of the inconsistencies. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful. Uh, over this, step asks, and three diamonds would be. Diamonds? So we would bid our suit? Yeah. Natural. Put that in brackets, get rid of the thumb. Look at this, I'll actually do it for you this time. <laughs> you had no idea what I was going to do. <laughs> but, you know, look at that. So yeah, if you got diamonds, you bid three diamonds. If you don't, you bid three hearts. All three spades to say one of the other two. Yeah. You're in a game force, find us asked. Sure. Um, two hearts, extremely natural. Yep. Once again, step asks maximum, and then step asks again. Good. Two spades is uh, yeah. So we just bid the lower suit that we actually have, basically, unless we've got hearts and clubs, in which case we bid hearts. Yeah, and they can be six fives now as well. Yep. Uh, then the one six five that you can't have three no trump opening. Which is six five minus for those that forgot. For club slash diamonds equals to play. Mm -hmm. uh, Shift up. Four hearts. So what I figured, what I did playing this. So I played this with Justin. Is that um, yeah. if you got six five in the minors, and one of you has a whole stack of hearts, it just means the opponents will bid four spades to play. Yeah, that's right. So you just give up on playing in four hearts. So in four hearts is a um, ask. So four hearts is transfer uh, to spades. Either uh, to play or slam triaclops. Oh, okay. And four spades. Slam is slam try diamonds. Yeah, sure. Okay. So if you've got spades, you can still win because this is what our system is. So Midnight Fox uh, just said, "What is this system called?" Obviously, system makes system face. Yeah, some of us don't agree with that name. That is <laughs> a horrendous name. Horrendously good. Uh, so yeah, these are our basic openings. Just try and show our spades. Go from there. Um. Yeah. Do, do we have anything more that we need to add to this? Or are we good? Um, no, just strong club stuff. Uh, so, you've got some notes. You'll send them to me so where I'll actually look for some more detail at that. But, uh, yeah. So just a... Uh, few things on the strong club that I'd like to go through if that's okay that probably aren't in the notes. Yeah. Um, when you open a strong club, you, you're actually, your odds on to lose imps um, because of your opening. It's not a good opening to be making. Um, fine, whatever. We'll concede those. But um, what we'd like to do, or what I think is best, is aggressive to game, passive to slam should be the, the mentality in your head. So if you're looking at a hand and you're thinking you should make a slam try, don't make a slam try. If you're thinking, looking at your hand, you, you're like, yeah, I've got a really good slam try. You make a slam try. You don't mm -hmm. just bid slam. Um, so in all these spots where it goes like a strong club, interference, yeah. um, partner game forces, more interference or non-interference, um, the priority is always to get to the best game contract first. So Q-bidding there so it does not show extra strength. Um, it just says, partner, I've got two places to play. Let's sort this out. Same thing, let's say it goes a strong club, Three diamonds, double, partner, I've got a game force. Four diamonds, um, doubles, maybe just partner, I've got two places to play. Or maybe we're playing pass, doubles, penalties, and pass is two places to play. Yep. Um, so that's the, the really strong priority. 
Um, and apart from that, it's just you should just be trying to bid naturally and simply. And it can even be an option sort of like a club, three diamonds, three spades, pass, four diamonds, still two places to play. We still haven't made a slam try in spades yet. If you want, like, you want to make a slam try in spades sometimes, but I think that giving up on making that really aggressive slam try sometimes is just worth sort of just maybe just having to bid five spades on the hands, like, you know, partner bid something, then you have to jump to five spades to say, like, I got this slam try in spades, how good are you, kind of thing. Um, I think that's more of the philosophy that should be taken, um, mainly because it's just, it can be a really big loser getting slams for a strong club. Especially if you're playing um, Swiss pairs, which we probably will be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, playing game, you're going to lose a couple of bids. Yeah. I sure hope we're not playing match points. <laughs> <laughs> we're playing match points. <laughs> I want to just call the system allergic to match points, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so how about we uh, wrap that up? We'll bid just... Let's try and bid five hands. Okay, five hands. And uh, see how we actually go. All right. Um, so why don't we make North-South have, like, 24 points or something? Um, sure. I'll chuck some robots in just to see. Can we hide the hands, the opponent's hands, just so we don't know? Uh, not with me sitting in two seats. Okay. No, that's fine, don't worry. Yeah. I feel like, you know, leave, leave you sitting in those seats, then we'll make those bids as well. We'll actually think about what these people should have done. Alright. Okay. So, you want North-South to have, say, 23, 24, something like that. That seems about right. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Alright. So, here we have an 11 count with four spades, so one heart. One heart showing four spades, exactly. Yeah. Next guy, what does he do? I would probably I'd pass that hand. I don't feel like I would need to bid with that. Um, you don't have the other major, so I wouldn't be making a takeout double of spades or anything. Um, I, uh, yeah, remove that robot and sit down. Yeah. Uh, so I would pass it as well, but I would expect everyone that we play against will bid two clubs. Really? Okay. Sure. Um, so we're playing takeout doubles here because the opponents haven't bid spades. Yeah. Um, in which case, maybe a takeout double is quite reasonable. So yep. I would I would double the south. How strong are you? You've got 12. 12 should only be an invite for yep. the precision system. So I would so here that would probably raise three clubs. Yep. Would you make a takeout double? No, you just no, pass. No, you just pass. And pass. pass. Do you double again? No, so partner doesn't, not going to have five hearts here. Um, they probably, they might have some hands with four hearts. I wouldn't be bidding again. If The only reason you're doubling here right now is to play in three diamonds, right? Yeah. Alright, so yeah, just passed out. That wasn't very exciting. Well, that was pretty exciting. Uh, if they didn't bid, it would go a heart, pass, a no trump swish. Yep. Um, okay, this one is a strong club. Okay. Um, skip skip over the strong club stuff, because we haven't gone through that, so we'll just we'll do some different stuff later. I reckon we're looking for like 10 to 15 point hands that we're trying to bid here. Alright, so how about we give North 10 to 15 points? Yeah, okay. Is a really crummy hand, but uh, a heart again. That's a one heart opening, showing four spades. Yep. East pass. Yep. We've got a south twelve. So twelve. Um, we don't have three. We can't bid out with. So three hearts would be a natural invite with six. We can't do that. We Looks could like we transfer, no... or we could bid a no trump. No, no, we, no can't we can't transfer. transfer. Looks like we have to bid a no trump. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So over this, just hard no trump pass pass pass. Yeah. Us. Miss our heart fit, but uh opponents have some diamonds. I reckon we're in the money to make a no trump. We've got four, five, six. I reckon we're getting seven tricks. They've got four well, diamonds. Well they're gonna lead a club for sure. Well even 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 if they don't, they've only got four diamonds and two aces, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well no trump's a fine spot. And we might be able to, if they balance you could bid two hearts for the next time. Um yeah, we'll make a takeout double. If they bid two diamonds, I would make a takeout double. Partner's got four hearts. Oh maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Something's fine. Cool. Yep. These aren't the most exciting hands, but that's okay. Uh, so North's got five hearts. So they're going to have to open two to three spades. Yeah, so one spade. So North's opening is one spade, two to three spades. Next hand pass. has to pass. Now, South knows that we don't have the old uh, spade fit. 
Is that uh, one no trump? It has to be a no trump, I guess, yeah. What's probably pass? Yeah. yeah. North bids two hearts counter pay. Showing five plus hearts. <laughs> three, three, two or three spades. And she would South's bid. got ten? Ten? I'd probably enough? just bid three hearts. Yeah, I'm not bidding anything more than three hearts. Um, problem is that North doesn't really know how good their points are now. Like, imagine we had the king, king third diamond and four low clubs. Now the hand might be a bit better. Yeah, but you don't really, like, think of another option. Goes one heart, pass, four card, invite, right? Yeah, sure. You've got the same information. Yeah, sure. You've given away how many spades you've got, though. <laughs> oh, no! They <laughs> can count our spades, yeah. Um... Um, what have you got? You've got... Ah, so North have bid four hearts, right? Yeah, they're maximum. Like, they've opened a strong club, right? Twelve. Yeah, yeah. that's an easy four hearts. Yeah, bid. and go down one. Sure. They're only down one if the opponents cash all three of their diamonds on the go. Yeah. Um, they might try letting a spade. Um, Alright, what do we got here? We have a strong no trump. So yeah, we'll redeal the strong no trump. Here, North has six spades, so and ten, ten points. So that looks like a diamond opener. One diamond. East would bit a heart. Yep. Here um, we have. That looks like few rows. So just two hearts. Yep. Uh, next hand, ah, oh, raise to three hearts. I would raise to three hearts. An ace, queen, third heart. That they would either double or three hearts. I would, I would raise to three hearts. Yeah. Fit. And north, I feel like um, would probably. Three spades. I don't feel like we're in a forcing option here, are we? You got but you've got spades. an extra spade. Yeah. And then south probably raises to four. Yeah. Like south bit in game. Yeah. Well, that wasn't very exciting. But you say that to every hand, but like th these are, we have to make sure we know how to untangle these. Ones. Yeah. Sure. Okay. It's not like it was a strong no trump. So why don't you give North zero to two spades? How about zero to three? Okay. All right. So here that would open a spade. Um. Yep. Yeah, two to three spades. Yeah, I like that. Best of pass. Uh, South, you'd probably bid three clubs natural invitational. Yep. And next guy's in a bit of a, <laughs> bit of a tough spot. He has to pass, I guess. Pass, pass, pass. That'll, that'll be the end of the auction. And they never get to bid their spades. Not that they really make anything. On they this lose layout. a diamond, a heart, a spade, and two hearts. Yeah, sure. All right, whatever. But another layout suit, they're still stuck. Yeah. Try it again. All right. Uh, here you have a strong neutron. Yep. So strong. Uh, as a strong neutron, small and yeah, boring. So this time North is going to open two, six, six, five, six, four in the minors. So that would open two that? spades. Two spades. Yeah, two spades. <laughs> two spades pass four spades. Um, two, four, six. I think we like this an invitation in spades. I don't feel like that's good enough. So how do you invite in spades? Don't we bid three two, spades? Two spades, three spades. Is that it? I don't know. I, I, from memory, that's it. I think so. Natural, Na invitation. natural invite. Yeah. <laughs> so that would be this sort of hand, and that would get raised. Absolutely, that is yeah. like a, the clearest raise ever. Even if you didn't have the queen of spades, I would still raise. Yeah. Like that is just like you got ace king ace. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, here, strongly trump. So let's skip that. All right. Uh, so this is a strong club, right? Yeah, that's a strong club. 
Otherwise, you would open it two spades. Let's just pretend that we didn't have the King of Diamonds or something. Let's pretend that, like, West had the King of Diamonds. We'd open this two spades. Yeah. And South probably thinks their partner's got hearts and clubs. So there's yeah. not a lot they can do about it. Um, so they could either pass hoping that they've got a 5-2 spade fit. Yeah. I don't really like that because you could have a massive diamond fit. You can have a 5-0 spade fit as well, so I would ask. Yeah. So 2-0. 5 it's 3 hearts. 3 hearts. Hearts and gloves. Yeah. And pass, pass, pass. Yeah. And that go for us. We lose a spade, a diamond. That's pretty terribly for us. And two hearts. But this is a misfitty yeah. hand. I'm not too worried that if we hit a misfit and we get stuffed by it. Yeah, sure. It'll happen. It's unfortunate it will fall. <laughs> yeah. Um, so North probably passes that. Ten count balanced. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Not well, you'd open a spade. Maybe. It might pass. Um, that looks like strong no trump. Try again. Okay, that would be a strong no trump too. That is a strong no trump too. Here, that's a spade. Yep, two to three spades. Good pass. Yeah, this looks like a transfer of spades. So, two hearts. Yep. And two spades. Yep. And then I reckon they are good enough to gain four, so you get three hearts. Three hearts. Plus plus three spades. Three or four spades, yeah. Three I think three spades, because you're not dead minimum. Yeah, sure. Pass. Pass. Four spades. spades. Yep. Yeah, so North just bits their spades every single <laughs> time. Yeah. North just a lot of spades and stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is a two heart opener. Serious hearts, yep. Uh, pass and. Oh, what's that? That's you're 13 and a stiff. You want to invite, sort of. Yeah, is 2 no natural limitation? Did we put 2 no natural limitation in there? Uh, two spades is an ask, 2 no is natural invite. I think 2 no natural invite? Well, yeah, 2 no natural invite. Uh, three hearts. Three hearts. You'd probably just pass that. Yeah. And that loses a lot because both your finesses fail. Mm. 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 No, like this guy has to do well not to bid. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to go two hearts past two, no. But over the natural limitation, this guy probably shouldn't be bidding. Yeah. Like, you've got 17, but like, what are you really hoping for? Uh, this one is a strong no trump. Yeah. I'm getting dealt a lot of strong no trumps. But that, that's good for our system. That's our, <laughs> that's our winning bid. Uh, yeah. So here, two hearts. Yeah, so North's got to show their six card hearts, so we'll put that in there. And Pass. two no. Um, what's this? 12? 12. You limit to 14. Two no is natural limitational. Yeah. Is three clubs natural invite? Uh, three clubs natural game force. Two no is our only invite. Okay. How about we get rid of this natural business? But well, fine, leave it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so two no. Yeah. I did three diamonds. Yeah. Three D. Uh, that looks like a six four. Um, three no. Hope for the best. Yeah. Beautiful. Partner had like Queen X of Clubs, you got chances. Yeah. Yeah. This is unfortunate here, we haven't done well here. Alright, uh, ten so this is a strong no trump, but if you're a little bit weaker. You mean a strong no trump, good not. No, no, strong club. Oh right, okay. So if you're a little bit weaker you would open that a spade. Spade. Yeah. <laughs> Two to three spades. <laughs> yep. Um <laughs> Next guy probably Passes. passes. So we'll go two clubs showing diamonds. Um, yeah, two showing diamonds. Pass. Oh, uh, West might be. It might be some hearts. 
I have been three clubs. clubs. I have a huge stack of clubs. And then that might be the end of the auction. Um, I wouldn't be bidding the south. Your king queen of diamonds are almost certainly opposite of shortage, right? Like Panda didn't accept. Panda could accept yeah. and then bid the clubs later on, right? So you want to just pass with this? Yeah, I feel like you should probably just be passing. Hope three no doesn't make. Yeah. Like, it's probably not going to. You're gonna, like, they're gonna attack one of the mages, and it's probably gonna be the wrong one for you. You've got ten. Like, I don't, I don't see the big upside. Like, Pana's gonna open, like, Pana's shown a huge stack of clubs, they're gonna open that aggressively. So. Two hearts. That's, that's an aggressive two hearts, but yeah, I'd do it. Four hearts, par two spades, probably. I would bid four hearts. Next guy probably has to pass. Yep. Yeah. And um, this guy, favourable? Would you pass or open this? Um, favourable, I would consider opening, but I would probably pass. I don't feel like it's quite there. Like, I have to open a spade. So what sort of ten counts do you open? Five card mages? Five card mages. Well, five card spades to the system, I guess. But like, here we've got a three card spade suit. Isn't that primo? Um, just a bit more distributional, maybe. Like, you've just got a balanced hand. Like, opening a balanced 10 is probably, like, balanced hands you should be looking for 11s. Um, mainly because if you start opening balanced 10s, so you're just going to get to too many bad contracts. They're just too frequent. Like, sitting of, like with balanced hands, we, should, we probably shouldn't be open 10s. Okay. Next guy probably has to Okay, so this is a one spade opener. This is a one spade opener as <laughs> well. Get, get that two or three oh, cards basically, didn't it? Next guy has to pass. pass. Here we have 13. So we want to make... I guess we're just game forcing. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with being a no-trump on this. Not ball. Like, I wouldn't be ashamed. Um, especially when you consider partners got two to three spades as well. Um, uh, that being said, you could game force. I think either action is fine. So you could go two no, balanced game force, pass 3D. And over the top of that, you're probably just going to be the three no. And hope partner's got. Like, partner's shown two to three spades. You've got, so they can't cash that many spades very often. Partner's got three spades, it's unlikely they're cashing all their spades. If partner's got two spades, you need them to be 4 4 or a stopper, I guess. Yeah, neither opponent's doubled or done anything. Yeah, well, lefty hasn't really had a chance after you've shown a balanced game force. <laughs> That's what our system's about. Like, not giving them a chance. So, it's perfect. Absolutely wonderful. Alright, let's one more and then we'll uh, wrap it up. Sure. So, here that is a strong no trump. Yeah, we'll do it. Not strong no trump. Don't worry. But they are our winning imps, and we've got to open so many of them. It's fantastic. Uh, so, so, that's a spade opener. So, one spade. This is two clubs, what looks of it. Oh no, 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 that's, no. This uh, is two, two spades. spades. Transfer. Transfer clubs. Yeah, pass. And, and North is also, I think, accept. Yeah, three clubs. And, and show your shortage. Bit yeah, points. so if we transfer to a minor, we then show shortage? Yeah, I reckon it's system on. What if. So, how do we find out 4 4 heart fits if we have an unbalanced hand? Um. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, we're playing transfers. Is two no natural invitational? Yeah, um, I guess. We give up on one more invite. <laughs> give up on one invite. <laughs> uh, hmm. So we could either have just bidding, like transfer and just bid naturally. That's invited. That's not consistent. I feel like we should just, if we're tra playing transfers, we should just be playing the same as sort of the, the strong no trump system. But like, let's say you transfer to diamonds and then bid two hearts. Is it still a shortage at the two level? No. So I feel like... It's transfer, it's transfer to diamonds or hearts. Or four hearts. So, like, two clubs is... Transfer to diamonds or strong hearts. Strong with a four-card heart suit. No, oh, well, it was just diamonds, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, no, it's strong with diamonds or a four-card heart suit. 
one spade. So two clubs are just five or more diamonds. Or four hearts and a strong hand. Exactly four. Don't you go through two in a trump? No, unbalanced. Unbalanced. So what unbalanced hand do you have? Four hearts. Unbalanced. Four hearts unbalanced? What kind of four heart? Game force. So, where? You've got a five card diamond suit, anything. Yeah. But if you follow it up with a two heart bid, you're saying I've got four hearts, scratch that two diamond bid. So, <laughs> okay. you want two clubs to be either a transfer to diamonds. Or strong with a four, exactly a four card heart suit. Who knows what else I have. <laughs> why? Why? Because it's a problem. <laughs> For the love of God, why? Why don't we just solve this problem by just natural bidding? Oh, all right, natural bidding. Like, just in all of these transfers, you just yep. transfer it and then just bid naturally. Okay, put that in yellow. <laughs> put it in yellow, that we bid naturally. It's, it's different to everything else. Natural bidding follows. Spool one's okay. That is highly unusual. <laughs> Maybe I can yellow it and underline just to make sure we know that we can bid naturally in these spots. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. You've screwed up the format. Because <laughs> I haven't screwed it up already. Alright, so here I, you could follow it up by just... Uh, you can actually follow it up with three spades, so I've got good quality spades. Yeah. Because um, you already know you're not playing in spades. You know you're not playing in spades. And then North might look at their hand and be like, well, I have the red suit stuffed good enough. Or partner looks at their hand and goes, they stuffed up system, they just wanted to raise to two spades. <laughs> <laughs> no, none of that. There's no catering for that. Yeah, we're, we're not going to forget no. any of this. No, none of that. All right. Let's wrap it up there. All right. So that, that's our test run. I think we've found there are no flaws in the system. This is good to win a Congress in yeah. maybe a week or two's time. So this is it. System mix system face. So strong club structure, show your spades few very specific bids, um, a few asks that are usually show a maximum. Yeah, step, so it'll be consistent with all the strong clubs, so anytime it goes a strong club, transfer to, or like you show a suit in A+, plus, then the step is an ask, I guess. Um, it's a little bit different over majors and minors, but then the step, it always says I'm, I'm maximum, I've got more than you think I have. And then other bids are minimums. This is what I have. So the step being maximum is always consistent throughout the system, at least. Yeah. Um, so I'll post a link to the system notes if you want them after Max fixes up all the uh, formatting that I've mangled. And we're going to play uh, this either Friday or Saturday, and then we'll do a review, see how it worked, what worked, what didn't. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. And I think the what didn't section will be a bit longer than the what did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, then, um, if you've got any suggestions on do creating more systems or any wacky ideas you want to build around, let me know, and I might get around to trying it again sometime. So if you enjoyed it, let me know. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.